evening it's the 15th of march 2020 apologies to anybody who's not interested in pits but we're here i'm at the site of manvers one side to the manvers main colliery uh massive colliery were but a colliery and a training center and all people uh, surrounding pits all come to manvers training center and that's where they did the underground training uh and when i think back it was all about safety but i've got got some documents here to show you that's better this there's a certificate for underground training I don't know if you can see it date but i think it's it is 24th of the 4th 1972 in red somewhere there there look and uh i've got some more certificates here manor certificates got the surface surface training 1971 certificate the poor certificates these for the ncb for you then there's another certificate for underground training there and there's underground for face training there i've also got a bit of button engineer that would have sold wood and also maybe time at manvers Indentures for College, Mine and Craft Apprenticeship, 1971. Uh, we're getting back about Manvers, massive pit it were, together with training centre and uh, coking plant. There must have been 3,000 men minimum here. There were also training centre, there were engineering workshops. There were, you could even, they even had people making flip flops out of conveyor belt and pit belts and battery cases and knee pads. Everything, the whole shop entered there were a big canteen over there. A massive canteen where all apprentices went. There were a pit canteen up main road there. I think I'm sure there were four chefs, I can't remember now, but I've got a bit of literature. That was, that's, this is from the 70s, this. Just a picture of one of the chefs. And it's saying here, Manvers is one of four collieries reconstructed between 1950 and 1956 forming the six and a half million pound Manvers Central Scheme, which enabled the combined outputs to be transported either on the surface or on the ground to a central coal prep plant in Manvers. Anyway, basically it's saying it were linked underground to Barnbury, which were about a mile and a half that way. Wath, mile that way. Kilnest, two mile that way. So all coal from Manvers, Barnbury and Wath came out at Manvers. So they only needed one coking plant and they only wanted one... Uh, one washer. Coking plant should, when I'm saying one coking plant, they only went to one coal prep plant and one washer. Coking plant, well, we're on about that. That shut, that shut way before pit. I mean, that was a right filthy thing. It was. employed a lot of men, but Jesus, you want to live to a long age if you weren't there. Some right fumes. But now they've rejuvenated the whole area. You won't even know there were a pit here. There's absolutely millions of warehouses. No, not millions. Lots of warehouses. And uh, there's probably a mile, just for a mile that way, warehouses. Mile that way, where all warehouses, all minimum wage jobs. And there's no memorial to the pit, which is quite sad. Just came back to this, it says, at the pit, at this time there were 1,400 men employed. The pit was sunk to it was a Swallowwood seam, Melton Field seam, and Silkston seam. In fact, I did my turn at Melton Field. We had to load a tub up with coal or, or rubbish. Push it round, tip it up, chuck it on conveyor belt, and do it all again. Same up, just went round and round. And uh, well, like I said, it was all about saying, I can remember some of the instructors were a Mr. Evans, we used to call him Educated Evans, you were right, chuffing so I think twat. And there were a Mr. England who were nice, and Mr. Olsen were nice. And basically, there were lots. I just found a memorial here though, look at this. Not to pit, it's to. Uh, this stone commemorates the Wath Railway crash, 18th of May 1948, when eight people died and 55 were injured. It also serves as a tribute to those who assisted in the rescue. Now, I don't know if that were above ground or underground. Well, like I say, training gallery at Man versus it was just like a bloody, uh, like a school, it was spoilish, could go down there and not get mucky. Uh, but that's where we learned to all about safety and that, like a conveyor belt. Seat from school, seat to Manvers, 
seat back and seat out pit and the people never alter from there. Apologise for brightness at jacket. I'm on my motorbike. Uh, anyway, rambled on long enough. Mammoth's main colliery. No memorial, a big pit like this. Absolute joke. In fact, there's just this area, there's two seats here. And there's a sign on this scene. I'll read it to you. And it just says... Where is it? Where is it? Here. This area is named by volunteer, maintained by volunteers. And that's it. That's Manvers, mate. Anybody knows else about it? Just comment. See you later.